if this actually works, this will not only change the game for us women, but like girls growing up. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Deborah. I send you virtual hugs wherever you are because you are loved on this channel, okay? So by the title, you guys see what we're gonna be doing. So before we get started, let me just put out, let me just put out a couple disclaimers. First and foremost, I need to get my nails done, okay? All right, so if you are paying attention and you realize that girl, you missing some nails, I'm, I'm, I'm very much aware. Secondly, if you are someone that gets weirded out about certain things, then I'm gonna tell you right now, click off this video and go watch my other videos, okay? It's, it's cool, it's cool because Today's video, we are going to get a little bit personal, okay? Please do not be in the comment section like, oh my gosh, like TMI, TMI, TMI. I'm just telling you right now, okay? Click off and go watch my other videos, all right? Okay, so today's video, I am going to be reviewing the period panties. I thought it would be interesting to take you guys along with me to see like how it actually works and do I recommend, okay? I wasn't gonna try this out because I was just like, listen, I have a heavy flow and typically the pad that I use when I'm on my period is, I use these right here. I usually use the overnight pads throughout the duration of my period, okay? It feels like I'm wearing diapers. <laughs> Mm. Now, this is the pad that I usually use because I have such a heavy flow. If this actually works, this will not only change the game for us women, but like girls growing up, like they won't have to go through that stage of like, you know, feeling weirded out to have to go in the bathroom and like silently open up like the pad and stuff like that. So this will definitely change the game for a lot of females. I think there's different brands, but the one that I'm using is called Bam Body Underwear. This is a three pack and let me open it up. Oh dang, this is one of those. Oh, okay. So this is the one that I got. Hopefully YouTube don't like act crazy because I'm showing pat I'm showing panties on here. I hope they don't do nothing. But these are the ones that I got. This is how it looks. Okay. It just feels like a regular panty, but you can definitely tell like something in there. Like there's something where your um where your girl sits you can definitely feel like there's something there let me go on the website right now and give you guys some like info about these panties so i'm currently on the website and i see that they have like different kinds they have like um hipster panties they have briefs they have boy shorts they have bikini so with these panties it is recommended to hand wash only and the maximum protection it says is equivalent to two tampons this is not only for if you have your period this is also good for maternity you can purchase this on amazon the link will be in the description box you know i got y'all so i'm gonna be trying out so the size that i have is a small um i have a small and because I don't want nothing too tight on me, right? So I have a small and the material is bamboo, rayon, cotton, and spandex. So the website definitely have a good variety of questions to kind of address a lot of concerns. I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you guys can see that. So today is Monday. My period has not come yet, but it is on its way because I do have an app called Flow. And thank you, Flow, for sponsoring today's video on plane. <laughs> That would have been like a nice transition if they did sponsor your girl, but they did not, okay? This video is not sponsored by anything. I do have an app and it's called Flow and that's how I track my period and it lets me know when my period is coming and so on and so forth. It's pretty accurate because sometimes like if it, let's say it says my period is supposed to come on Thursday, sometimes my period comes on Wednesday or my period comes on Friday. But I love tracking my period because it kind of helps me to plan accordingly. So today is Monday and it does say that my period is supposed to come on Wednesday. Um, so that's why I'm doing this video now because I know when my period is here, I'm not gonna have the energy <laughs> to do this intro. So that's why I'm doing it today. So when my period do come, I'm gonna come back and kind of speak to you guys. I'm probably gonna like check back in with y'all every hour to see like, okay, how I'm feeling in, with the panties, if, there, if there's any leakage. So I'm gonna come back. And if I come back looking crazy or looking not put together, understand that I'm on my period, okay? If my mood isn't up there like it is right now, it's because I'm on my period. Hey y'all, so by the way I just started, you guys can tell my period came, yay. <laughs> and I know I probably don't look all put together right now. My hair is 
I did braid up this hair, okay, because I just didn't want to be bothered. So my period came exactly when it said on the app that it was going to come. So let me go ahead and log that in. And that's one of the reasons why I really like this app because it, because of how accurate it is. So as you guys can see, I'm, I'm screen recording, so hopefully I remember to put it on the screen. But it says period may start today. And it's true, so I'm going to go ahead and log my period in. And according to the app, um, my period is supposed to end next Tuesday. So typically, my periods last about seven days. I know some people that their period lasts probably like three, four days. That's not me. Ever since my period started, my period has always lasted seven days as far as I can remember. Today it is day one. My period literally just came. It's currently 1230. Right now it feels, I'm not gonna lie, it feels kind of weird the fact that I know I'm on my period and I'm wearing panties. Cause like I typically, as you guys, as I mentioned in the, in the intro, I typically wear pads and I typically wear the overnight pads. So it's just like, I can feel like there's something that there's something there. So the fact that I'm wearing panties right now, it's like, whoa, this is different, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and make me some beets and carrot juice. For those who do not know, I mentioned this before, beets and carrot for me has helped with minimizing the cramps, the pain, the discomfort. Like, it literally changed the game for me. Those who know, know. Like, my my cramps my level of cramps were so bad i literally used to look like i was possessed like god is so good i don't want to think about it because like whoa god god is just so good anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and make my beets and carrots juice honestly i might not even do it i might just ask my mom to do it because right now i literally don't feel like doing anything like y'all know that feeling right when it's day one of your period and that's when i'm the most laziest like i can't i don't want to do anything like i just feel like my body just feels so heavy like i have to drag my feet to do anything like even talking right now like i'm not gonna lie even speaking right now i feel like i'm getting out of breath when i have my period i don't talk to anyone i really i rarely speak to anyone i don't even be texting on my phone Cause it just takes so it, it feels like it takes so much out of me like so much energy out of me so um whoo that felt like a lot <laughs> yo oh my gosh i can't imagine when i'm pregnant lord jesus give me strength so i'm probably not gonna go ahead and make the juice i'm gonna wait until my mom gets home and ask her to do it for me because right now all i want to do is lay down so check back in with you guys in the next hour or two God willing. Let you guys know how I'm feeling. How am I feeling with the period panties. And yeah, so I'm going to keep checking back in with y'all. I am out of breath. I'm tired. I need to lay down. I need... <sighs> okay. Alright, y'all. I'll catch you guys later. Hey, you guys. Wow. I sound horrible. <laughs> but hey, y'all. Let me put y'all down because I literally... Mm -mm. I'm rocking back and forth right now because um, my cramps have kicked in and I haven't drank my beets and carrot juice because I was waiting for my mom to make it for me. So here it is right here and she just made it for me so I'm about to drink it right now. But um, hold on before I drink it let me update y'all. So right now it is currently 3.55. I know I said that I was gonna come back. I know I said I was gonna come back and um Oh my gosh. Okay, I know I said I was gonna come back and uh, to check back in with y'all, but literally I was sleeping. That's what I was doing. I was literally um do I want this back here? I feel like it's distracting me. But I was I was I was sleeping. I was in bed and I just like I said I didn't have the energy to grab the camera okay but the reason why i'm grabbing it now is because i had to use the bathroom and so i'm like okay before i jump back in bed let me update y'all so so the couple hours later there's no leakage or anything um i checked my bed there's nothing my clothes there is nothing okay there is absolutely no stains it's always been about four hours okay four hours wearing these panties and wearing these period panties and there's nothing so that's really great 
and how do I feel with it so I can definitely feel it feels like it feels a little moist like <laughs> this is so funny but it feels a little it feels a little moist okay compared to when I first put it on I didn't feel anything it just felt like I was wearing panties but now it feels a little bit moist okay so I'm a little bit scared because I'm like okay should I change it I'm really gonna push it to see like because I really want to see how long can these panties do its thing and I am home so it's perfectly fine I think I mentioned before to y'all that it's been said that you could you typically you could wear period panties for about like 10 12 hours um that sounds crazy to me I'm not gonna even lie like oh my gosh what but um yeah I don't feel yeah that's really what it is that's really it is I'm gonna catch you guys in the next update hopefully you guys were able to hear me because I feel like I'm whispering but it's because I don't have that like energy to be so loud so um yeah it's currently four o'clock yep it's four o'clock now you can see it's four o'clock now so um yeah i'm gonna check back in with y'all all right y'all let me go Oof. oh yeah y'all let me just show you guys this thing real quick by the way i just drank about half of the juice okay and so i'm just waiting for that to kick in a little bit um and I blame myself because typically what I, because what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to drink the juice a couple of days before and keep it consistent until my period comes. But I didn't do that. So now it's kicking my butt. Um, but um, I just wanted to show y'all real quick. <sighs> y'all. Before I got into drinking beets and carrots, I had purchased menstrual heating pad. Okay. I had bought this and and i used to use this when i was at work i used to have this on and basically it's a heating pad it's a heating pad it massages and it also um heats up so if you want only just the massaging part you could just turn that on if you want the heating part only you can also turn that on if you want to do both you can put both of them on but i think if you have both of them running at the same time it does drain the battery so it will like turn off it will turn off on you okay so basically you would just put it around you and it charges you would charge it I'll show you guys where to charge it but you would put it around you okay so this could go under your clothes like don't put it against your skin though but you can put, put this under your clothes and like walk around with it um, as you're going about your day but you would turn it on here can you hear it so right now it has th and it has three levels it has three levels and then the heating part you just touch the heating part and then over here is where you pressed for the heating and right now i can feel the heat i definitely i'll link this down below for you guys um because i think it's very convenient especially if you're working you have your period and you're going to work you know you can have this on with you okay here's the charger and basically the charger goes the charger goes right in the middle this is how it is it's, and then it goes right in the middle right here and then you just charge it clearly not on you but yeah so i'm giving y'all the remedies so hopefully it works for y'all because trust me like i said bruh i used to have crazy cramps at this point i don't even think it was cramps i don't know what that was that was that was mm -mm, mm -mm. all right y'all so i'm back and it's currently nine o'clock can y'all see that i i'm gonna be real with y'all i haven't been I haven't been good. I think I ate something. I think I ate something yesterday that really messed me up. So I'm actually going to change the period panties now. But like I said, it's 9 o'clock. And there's... I did not experience any stains. You know, no leakage. I was moving around. I was on my bed. Literally nothing. Literally nothing. And so I've had it on for what, nine hours, I think. The reason why I'm gonna change it now is because I'm about to go to sleep. I'm gonna put the panties in like a bowl and I'm gonna put some baking soda and warm water, not hot water, but warm water and baking soda and let that sit. And then tomorrow I'll go ahead and just like wash it and things like that. But um, I'm gonna come back and give you guys my final thoughts, my final opinions. Cause I felt like there's still some things I could probably tell y'all, but right now, as you guys can see, 
it's day one of my period so i'm not in high spirits all right you guys i'll catch you guys later all right you guys so it's currently a couple days later oh wait hold on my screen goes black don't mind that okay and so i just wanted to come back on here and kind of give you guys like my final thoughts on the period panties i know i did uh, do like check-ins with you guys and let you guys know how i'm feeling about it how i what i think about it i feel like there are certain things that i didn't really like explain or dive into so i want to go ahead and do that right now i did take down write down some notes on my phone just so that i can make sure that i cover everything my suggestion is to is to wear it up to 10 hours do not push it don't exceed it i will say that um when i did go to sleep with it um i ended up wearing it for up to over 10 hours so i think maybe 12 or 13 hours i'm not gonna lie i did see like a little bit of stain on my pajamas it wasn't as much it wasn't a lot um but it was a little bit and so which is which is understandable because i did wear it for i think about 14 hours because i ended up waking up around 11 o'clock so I wore it, I put the, I had switched the undies around 9 o'clock at night and I woke up around 11 o'clock. I did wear it for 10 hours and I didn't see any, any stains or anything like that. So please do not push it, wear it. I would suggest you guys to wear it for 10 hours, okay? Another thing is I didn't smell anything. <laughs> um, I definitely did not smell anything. So when I did go ahead and wash the panties, I did put baking soda and laundry and detergent because I think it does suggest on the website to add baking soda to help remove the odor. When I went ahead to wash the undies, I did not smell anything. There was no odor. I really thought that like I was gonna see like a whole bunch of blood. Like I thought it was gonna be a whole blood bath. Like, like oh gosh. But to honestly, you guys, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Of course, like, it's dirty, so you're going to see the color of the water change a little bit. But it wasn't as bad as I thought. If your concern is like, oh my gosh, like, I don't want to see all that blood. It's really not a lot. Trust me. So now, the big question. Do I recommend these panties? And should you get rid of pads for good? My honest opinion, ladies, is that I do recommend these panties but i don't think you should get rid of pads for good only because like let's say you're going on vacation right i would say i would suggest for you to use pads instead of the undies because with the period undies as soon as you remove it you have to wash it right you have to wash it right then and there it's, it does suggest that you shouldn't let it dry out so you have to hand wash it so when you're on vacation like are you really gonna go ahead and wash those undies like you know what i mean so in that case i would say to use pads overall i don't think you should get rid of pads completely the only thing with these panties is the fact that you have to hand wash it and i know that might throw a lot of people off because it's just like oh my gosh i have to hand wash me i'm haitian i'm from the caribbean okay well i was born here but my mother always taught me to wash my undergarments by hand so for me i'm kind of used to the game you know i'm used to it but i know for some people who aren't that might be like a ugh, like that's annoying <laughs> and whatnot I'm definitely gonna purchase more because i did only purchase four so that is my full review i'll have the link to the period panties that i purchased down below in the description box and anything else that i mentioned throughout the video the links will be down below thank you guys so much for watching this video and of course i thank god for allowing you guys to watch this video because today was not promised but it was all given by God and I thank God for that and I hope you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night Whatever time you're watching this video, have a blessed day, may God bless you And until next time, peace